that. I don't know if you can see it. It's a hundred degrees. Well, we just got to our campsite. We are at the Conewago Isle Campground. It is a little island along the Conewago Creek or Conewago River. And this is what we have here. It's actually very pretty here. The campground has seen better days. It's old, but it's got full hookups. Our camper. So we'll do a little bit of exploring. It's getting kind of late. It's on a Friday evening after work. So we're kind of tired and we're also hungry, so we're gonna have to make some food. But check this out. This dam here, a neat little waterfall. Pretty awesome. Well, we had to leave the campsite for a moment because we have got to go get a couple things I forgot at the grocery store. Man, look at the clouds out there. It is going to storm. I could not film our trip back from the grocery store because we were drenched. It came down so hard. The rain was coming down sideways. The wind was awful. We thought we were going to lose our awning on the camper when we got back here but it must have been protected enough that it was saved so we are back here the rains have stopped for now and we're trying to cook some dinner got hamburgers and hot dogs going michelle's making some beans Ah, beautiful day. Can you explain why I look like a brown rat? I did. As usual, I forgot a bunch of stuff. Go the camper over here with the Titan XD. Again, hopefully we're going to be heading to Hershey in about three weeks and at least pick out a new camper. We're not sure yet what we're getting. We have some ideas. We'll take you guys along with us. Look at that burger. Just picked that tomato from the garden. Beans. Hot dog. Pretty much the same thing. Oh, can't forget chips. Oh, I forgot to mention these pickles we just made these last weekend from cucumbers from the garden. This is my grandfather's recipe. They're turmeric cucumbers, or turmeric pickles. They have green peppers and onions in them too. The green peppers are from the garden. These are amazing if you like sweet pickles. They are really good. everyone we survived the night just taking a walk around here check out that bird over there all kind of interesting wildlife around here Here's a shot of the campground. There aren't many people here. It's pretty quiet. This place isn't really much to look at as far as the campground goes, but it was very quiet last night. And the scenery here is beautiful. That uh, vlog I posted a couple of weeks ago when we had flooding down around our house. It flooded up here too. And 
that's about I guess about seven feet or so from this level here down to the water anyway um, the camp host was showing me pictures from a couple weeks ago and right where our campsite is right now this was all underwater so this creek and yes it is a creek it doesn't look like a creek but that's what it says on the maps it was actually the water was like probably about this high so all of this was underwater and there were people trapped on this island until the flooding subsided crazy so we're gonna get in the truck and we're gonna drive around do some exploring Michelle and I want to take the truck over to a, a way station so we can get it weighed so that we can have a better idea of what kind of camper we can safely tow with the new truck Hey bunnies. Hi. How are you? Here? Here? No. <laughs> you guys want some lettuce? I have some lettuce for you. Go back to my camper and get you some lettuce. How's that sound? Well, that was pretty cool. The rabbits come right up to you. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything for them, so I'm going to go back to the camper and get some lettuce. It's about the only thing that I have for them. Either that or a tasty cake. They might eat it. Our rabbit used to eat just about anything that you gave to them. Hey, bunny. Hey guys, look. Hey, look, we got. Look. Hey, look. Come on. Come on. Here. Here. Look, bunny. Here. Hey, that's expensive stuff. You want to feed them? Catscale. Not to be confused with Catscales. Well, we got our truck weighed 
and the steer axle was 4,240 pounds. The drive axle was 3,120 pounds. And the gross weight was 7,360 pounds. So we decided to stop by here at this bakery, Deja Brew. Interesting name. So this is what I got. Looks pretty good. This is what Michelle got. What is that? Um, apple snickerdoodle. Apple snickerdoodle. And I got a piece of lemon pound cake for the road. Well, that Deja Brew was really good. They said that they bake all of their own products in-house and the cake that I had was delicious. Michelle's, what was a snickerdoodle apple, or apple snickerdoodle muffin, that was really good. And the coffee was good too. So if you're ever in New Oxford, Pennsylvania, be sure to check this place out. It's right around the uh, circle here. So as seems to be tradition with us, when we go camping, we got a pizza from a local pizza joint. We'll see how it tastes. That pizza was pretty good. Are there any turtles on that log over there? Shell's making noises over here because of bugs. I wouldn't get in the tall grass. Yep. Be honest with you, Michelle. Look at their beaks. Their beaks are like they're um, hooked at the end. Those are some strange looking birds. There really aren't that many campers here. It's pretty empty. went under. There was a bunch of carp and they disappeared into the murkiness. Let's see if I can find some more. They're gone. So on this side of the campgrounds are the tent sites, and actually I guess you could put a camper in here too, because um, they do have power and water, 
Just no sewer. Definitely is a pretty awesome view. Awesome dinner again. Michelle cooked tonight, so it's different. Yeah, it's burnt. Is it burnt? No, well, it's well done. Well done Yours instead of raw. raw. Mine's well done. I had a lot of vinegar. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at that. Masterpiece. So we got our trusty old propane fire going this evening. There's fireworks going off over there somewhere. Oh, look at the blue color. That looks awesome. <coughs> You're going to burn your leg. You're mighty close to that. Yeah, I'm really roughing it out here. Right next to the fire. Got my new laptop. Looking for campers. Michelle's looking at me like I'm crazy. What do you guys think of that one? Well, we're leaving the Conewago Isle campground Sunday morning. Overcast. It's been raining. Actually, it is. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. We woke up at like eleven. Um, and uh, I'm not driving. Michelle is. She's driving for the first time, towing a camper. Yeah. Careful. We're going to see how many mirrors she can take out.